this is an interesting sum from the progressions topic we are supposed to find the sum of 5 plus 55 plus 555 plus 5555 like this up to n terms so uh, before finding for finding sum of n terms of a sequence we have to first check whether it forms a, a a kind of progression like an arithmetic or a geometric or a harmonic progression so let us first check whether it forms an arithmetic progression so second term minus first term that is 55 minus 5 is 50 third term minus second term is 500 a fourth term minus a third term is 5000 so there is no common difference it indicates that this is not an arithmetic progression on the same way if we divide a second term by first term we will get 11 third term by second term we will get triple uh, one and uh, uh, like that so there will be no common ratio also so this series is also not a geometric progression so the given sequence is uh, neither an arithmetic progression nor a geometric progression also it is not a harmonic progression but by an interesting manipulation we can convert we can convert the sequence to a geometric progression and then we can find the sum of n terms of uh, this uh, list of uh, terms so let us see what uh, conversion or what manipulation we can do to this so we have to find a sum so let me represent s for sum of uh, the number of terms or numbers that is given that is 5 plus 55 plus 555 plus 5555 up to n terms so let us find their sum that is why i have kept a plus symbol between them so i said we can convert this to a geometric progression by uh, some kind of interesting manipulation so let us uh, take some highest common factor i am taking 5 as highest common factor as a result we will have in the bracket 1 Plus eleven, plus one hundred eleven, plus one thousand one hundred eleven. You can make out like this up to n terms. Later, we can uh, do a common operation: multiply and divide by nine. As a result, we will have here outside the bracket five by nine, and inside the bracket nine plus ninety nine plus nine hundred ninety nine. and the process continues okay then we are doing a sequence of manipulations to bring this to a geometric progression now watch this carefully we can write the next step 5 by 9 and the first 9 we can write it as 10 minus 1 99 we can write as 100 minus 1 so i'll write 10 square minus 1 the next number i can write it as 1000 minus 1 means what 10 cube minus 1 the next number i can write as 10000 means 10 to the power 4 minus 1 and the process continues up to n terms we have to find sum of n terms of the given list of numbers so here i close the bracket now observe carefully how this sum or how the list of numbers uh, get converted to so we have here 5 by 9 and then we have 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube plus 10 to the power 4 and the process continues up to n terms other than this we have minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 like this how many minus 1 n minus 1 so because we are 
adding n terms so we'll have that many minus 1 so i separated the terms in the bracket all 10 100 1000 10000 in uh, one place and uh, the first minus 1 next minus 1 the next minus 1 these all in another place okay now let's see how uh, we have converted our given um, uh, question so we are finding their sum so sum is uh, 5 by 9 and now you observe we have uh, the first list of terms you see 10 10 square 10 cube okay this forms a geometric progression see here uh, the second term divided by first term is a 10 third term divided by second term is also 10 fourth term divided by third term is 10 so there is a common ratio common ratio is the 10 and uh, the first term is also 10 so first term is a 10 and there is a common ratio and whenever we have common ratio such a progression is said to be a geometric progression so here uh, so 10 10 square 10 cube 10 to the power 4 up to n terms so this is a finite series so this finite series a sum when we apply sum of n terms formula for a geometric progression sn is a, a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 and as i said um, first term a is a 10 common ratio is also 10 how many terms n minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1 so 9 so the first set sum will be 10 into 10 to the power n minus 1 by 9 and then here minus 1 minus 1 how many minus 1 are being added n minus 1 so i'll just write minus n times 1 so n so the sum of the given set of numbers it turns out to be this let us write this in a proper way so this is a 5 by 9 times uh, 10 I will distribute over the bracket so we'll have 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 10 and on taking LCM we will have here 9n divided by 9 and uh, finally finally what is the sum of a given set of numbers the sum of uh, sum of 5 plus 55 plus a triple 5 and the process continues is uh, uh, i just multiply uh, denominators and we'll have 5 by 9 times 9 is 81 and in the bracket we will have 10 to the power n plus 1 minus 9n minus 10. So if we know the number of terms in this list in place of n we can plot that number and we get the sum and this is the solution or answer to the question.